Hey y'all and welcome back for another Winning Wednesday. So today I just want to encourage you all to not worry. The Winning Wednesday word today is don't worry. You know, last week we talked about a song to sing and how the Lord just drops songs in your heart and in your spirit sometimes for certain reasons. Well, there was this particular song that the Lord dropped in my heart and in my spirit and I just couldn't get away from it. The song, the lyrics, this particular part or verse just kept playing over and over in my mind, in my sleep, when I wake up in the morning. And it is a song by, oh my goodness, I can't think of his name right now. Uh, I can't think of his name, but if it comes to me, well, if when I say the lyrics, you may remember uh, who it is. Um, I know it's with group therapy, but I can't remember the lead singer's name at the present moment. But um, it says, um, the so name of the song is Trust, I believe it's called Trust In You. And it says, you did not create me to worry. You did not create me to fear. But you created me to worship you daily. And so, as I kept, as, as that kept playing over and over and over in my mind, the Lord just started to minister to me and to tell me, you know, in the beginning, when I created you, when I created the heavens and the earth, I never created you or anything on this earth to worry. Back in the beginning, worry, fear was never in the plan. That's why I didn't create you to that. The, what I did create you for was to praise and to worship me daily. That's what I created you for. So don't worry. And worrying is something that we all experience. We all worry about something. Right now, even at this moment, there may be something that you are worrying about. But God does not want you to worry. And many of us struggle with worrying to the point where it causes us to have anxiety at the highest level. It disturbs our way of life. And I can say that because I spent many years of my life in a state of heightened anxiety, worrying constantly about every little thing, causing myself to believe in fears that never came true. Never, never came true. And so as I began to inquire with the Lord, why is it that you have placed this song in my heart? Why is it that this song just keeps repeating itself? And it was my spirit that was encouraging me because I didn't know what was going to come ahead of me. I didn't know what was going to be happening that I needed to remember that God did not create me to worry, that he did not create me to fear, but he created me to worship him every single day. That's what God created you and me for. He does not want us to worry about anything. He has clothed the lilies of the valley. Jaira, that song, it says that he has clothed the lilies of the valleys. How much more will he take care of clothing you? That he watches over the sparrows, that he's watching over the birds, the birds who cannot speak to other humans, the birds who don't share God's word like we do. If he is watching over even them, he is watching over us. So we do not need to worry. My favorite scripture that I always come back to whenever I'm feeling worried or have some anxiousness going on is Philippians chapter number four, verse six through nine. And it says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray 
about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true, honorable, and right, and pure, and lovely, and admirable. Think about the things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you have learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. That's Paul speaking. Then God, then the God of peace will be with you. Paul says, if you just remember this one thing, if you remember that you don't have to worry and that all you have to do is pray and tell God what you need and thank him for hearing you and thank you for all the things that he's already done. See, that's what I was missing all those times that I was worrying. I was so focused on what was happening that I couldn't remember that God had already done so much for me in my life. He's already made ways for me. But for whatever the reason, that one thing right there at that moment had me captured, had me so captivated that I forgot that God had already done something even greater than what I'm actually going through right now. So remember that. And then you will experience his peace. Then you will be able to move away from that fear, move away from that worry. And it will be so peaceful that it will be something even you can't even comprehend or understand. You won't be able to put it into words how much peace you have, how you don't have that fear anymore, how you don't have that worry or that stress anymore because his peace guards our hearts. In our hearts, that's where we keep the issues of life. Our heartstrings, they drive our emotions and they go up to our thoughts. What we're feeling comes out in our thoughts and that's what starts the worrying and the fear because of what we feel in our hearts. But we need God to guard our hearts because our guard, our hearts can be deceptive at some times. But if God is guarding it, we don't have to be dece deceived. We can rest and know that God is taking care of it. So remember, you don't have to worry. All you have to do is pray. Pray to the Father. He already knows. He's there. He's always listening. He's always available. He's not like your friend. He's not like your family who can be too busy, who can be uninterested in what you're going through because they're going through something. God is not like that. God is always available for you. No matter what time of day it is, he is available. He wants to take the things that you are worried about, the things that you fear. He wants to take them and exchange them for peace, for peace of mind, for comfort. Because there is something that you have to do when you are worried, when you are in fear, it is stopping the plan that God has for your life. And that I can say confidently because I have been there. I wish I would not have let all those years of worry and fear stop me because I know in my heart I probably could have been further along in my life had I not allowed those fears and worries to keep me from doing the things that God placed in my heart to do, that God destined for me to do. But God, he is faithful. He can redeem the time for you. If you just pray to him, he can continue to put you back on that right path. He can continue to ensure that your destiny, your calling will be fulfilled and he will make it so peaceful for you. That is the Winning Wednesday word. Thank you all for joining me and I will see you all in the next one. Yeah.